This video tutorial is for those taking out the free trial of HDR Live Studio for Blender. If you have already bought a HDR Live Studio license, check out our HDR Live Studio for Blender installation video made for our customers. Link is in the description. When you have completed the registration process for the demo of HDR Live Studio at lightmap.co.uk forward slash try, you will be left with a welcome to your HDR Live Studio demo page. This is the page where you will get your downloads from. We'll need this page throughout the video, so don't close it until this video is finished. There are four steps to cover to get you up and running with your connection. Step one, we will install the standalone version of HDR Live Studio. This is always required for any of our connections to work. Step two, we'll start HDR Live Studio standalone. Step three, we will install the connection Step 4 is where everything is installed and working and you are ready to learn how to get started with HDR Live Studio and your connection. So without further ado, let's begin. On step 1, click on download HDR Live Studio to get the latest standalone version of HDR Live Studio. You will need to read and agree to the terms of the EULA in order to start the download. That's downloaded now. Now, let's run the installer. You will need to agree to the terms of the agreement to continue with the installation. You can choose your destination folder here, but for this video, I will stick with the default path. Click install. Once the setup has complete, click on next and then close. The online documentation will open, but we won't be needing it in this video, so let's close it. HDR Live Studio Standalone is now installed and we can run it. Go to search next to the Windows Start menu button and type HDR Live Studio. Then click on the app icon to run it. And then click on Run Unlicensed in Demo Mode. The standalone version of HDR Live Studio will launch. If your interface doesn't look like this, you can always go to Window, Layout, Load, default, standalone. Before you continue with the connection installation, always make sure the HDR Live Studio standalone application isn't running. So let's close it now. Let's go back to the demo page. And in step three, let's click on download Blender 2.83 plus. Agree to the terms of the EULA and click on Start Download to start downloading the HDR Live Studio add-on for Blender. Once the zip file is downloaded, we'll place it somewhere temporarily. For this video, I will save it on the desktop. Ensure the file is still zipped or you won't be able to install the add-on. If it isn't, simply recompress the content. Now let's start up Blender. Go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and click on Install. Go to the directory where you have saved the zip file containing the Blender add-on. In this video, I have saved it on the desktop. Then select it and click on Install add-on. The HDR Live Studio add-on for Blender is now installed. All that's left to do is enable the add-on in order to use it. Now, if we go to World Properties in Blender, we can now see a new section called HDR Live Studio, which wasn't there before. This indicates that the HDR Live Studio add-on for Blender has been installed and enabled. The Blender add-on zip file used for the installation can now be deleted. The add-on is now ready to be used and we can simply click on Start in the HDR Live Studio add-on panel to launch HDR Live Studio in connection with Blender. If you want to use HDR Live Studio with Blender, you will always need to launch it from Blender. And here we have it. That's how you install HDR Live Studio to use with Blender. Now on to step 4 understanding how to use HDR Live Studio with Blender. Do check out our Getting Started with the Blender Connection video for that. Link is in the description below. Thank you for watching.